Welcome everyone, this is Freedom Master Dennis Arman. So we're gonna have an exclusive content for you today and it's going to be actually the good opening strategies for beginners and amateurs and we're starting right now. All right, so here comes my first advice for beginners. What are we going to focus at first sight is going to be the rapid development of your pieces. So what do I mean actually by rapid development of pieces is actually is to trying to take control of the game and the center of the board as quick as possible in the most effective and efficient way. And this is something a very challenging task for many beginners to figure out. And in this case, I would like to illustrate with a nice example for you guys. Hopefully, this will be an instructive example for you. All right, so let me just try to demonstrate how things will work in practice. So I will try to demonstrate uh, with the board next to me how we can uh, develop our pieces effectively and rapidly. So in this... Um, basic example of uh, moving the pawn forward in front of the king we basically allow a very nice development uh, opportunity for the bishop and also for the queen so basically this will also show us black doing the same idea so we see that the knight uh, jumping forward and actually attacking the pawn which means that we are not only developing peace but we are also creating some threats for our opponent and we see black protecting the same pawn and getting out the bishop rapidly into a very central square and we see black is doing more or less the same idea by bringing the game pieces into the game very quickly and effectively and we uh, defend our pawn basically with the other pawn and this has a very nice logic also allowing this bishop to develop uh, further so every move we make is actually kind of useful in terms of improving our position and bringing our pieces into the game. So we see black doing the same thing and finally white developed the uh, other knight and black is ready to get the other bishop out into the game. So every move more or less makes sense hopefully and after bishop out, the other bishop out we are more or less managed to develop knights and bishops into the game quite effectively and in a centralized way. And in another YouTube video, we'll be discussing why center of the board is so important and centralization of the pieces are so important. So you can check out the upcoming video in our YouTube channel. So here comes my second advice. My second advice is to focus and concentrate on the king's safety because many beginner players usually focus on the things happening in the center and they forget about what is the most important thing in the game and it's your king and it's your king's safety because as we all know that checkmate is ultimately done by trapping your king and getting mated. So if you learned the rule of checkmate, you will understand that how crucial it is to keep, to focus on your king's safety because if you lose the control of the game, it means that you will get checkmated as soon as possible. So there is no other way of winning the game unless you are playing a tournament game and lose on time or your opponent resigns, etc, etc. We're basically talking about the fundamental rule of checkmating your opponent. So this is why you need to really ensure that your king is under safe conditions and this is achieved by castling. So what is castling rule? Probably if you have checked out the rules of chess, you will see that there is a special rule by relocating your king by taking two steps and then the rook moves and the king moves at the same time and then the king is actually behind the pawns finding a very safe shelter i will try to demonstrate in the video and try to show you how it works actually we managed to develop our pieces so we were ready to actually enter the war field however we need to pay attention to one single and vital thing about the game and it is the king's safety so we see that both kings in the position are uh, still at the center of the board. Actually, this is something that we will discover or explore if we didn't know before. It's going to be problematic for many players 
to leave this king in the center of the board because it really interrupts the coordination of the pieces. So if we have a look at the rooks on the sides of the board, we really would like to establish some sort of coordination between these two rooks on the one side and the other side of the board. And in order to achieve that, there is a special rule in chess which is quite useful and which is used from beginner level up to the master level, even at the world championship level, it is castling rule. And once you ensure your king is castled, there will be a safe shelter for your king and it will ensure that you will have a long-term fighting game against your opponents. So I absolutely recommend you to check out the castling rule if you haven't done it or if you have forgotten it, absolutely you have to include it in your gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did enjoy please do subscribe my channel and you will find a lot of useful content about improving your gameplay and chess at many different levels and I also have some entertaining content for those if you would like to follow me on YouTube you will see some content from Twitch as well. Thank you so much for watching and see you within our next video. Bye.